board should hold executive sessions, meeting without management being present as a best practice. Directors need to be able to talk openly about how management is doing, what they really think of management strategy, what to pay the CEO and more. How to do this? Today on Zippy Point. I'm Brock Romanek and I'm a big fan of you. Both the NYSC, the New York Stock Exchange, and NASDAQ require that executive sessions be regularly scheduled. For the NYSC, regularly means at least once per year. For NASDAQ, it's twice annually. I'll note that the NYSC requires listed companies to disclose the name of the director who presides over the executive sessions, except if the director who presides rotates, then companies disclose that, that there's a rotating director who presides. Not many boards rotate who leads, which makes sense since it's easier just to go the route of whoever leaves the group leaves, <laughs> leaves the meeting. I should also note that board committees also meet in executive sessions, just like the full board does. Here are four things about executive sessions you should know. One, don't hold too infrequently. Two, decide to hold before or after board meetings. Three, coach those taking minutes. Four, get the debrief. One, don't hold too infrequently. Although some people feel that executive sessions are overused, it's smart to have a regular schedule, even if it's as frequently as once per board meeting, rather than to wait to call one when something is afoot. If the board rarely holds executive sessions, management gets paranoid when one is suddenly called and the drama that results can be destructive. So boards should hold them regularly, even when they're not required, when they're not necessary for the board to function. Even if they just last a short while, you don't want just the fact that you're holding one to signal to management, to the CEO, that there's something big happening, some big friction. You don't want to cause that kind of angst if you don't have to. Two, decide to hold before or after the board meetings. So I remember when executive sessions first became a thing. One of my favorite talking points was deciding to whether to hold the executive session before or after the board meetings or even during the meetings. <laughs> some, some boards hold them in the middle of a board meeting. They'll break for an executive session in the middle, but that practice is rare. The bottom line is that any of these approaches works just fine if you do it. Afterwards, the independent directors can discuss what just transpired at the regular board meeting. If you do it beforehand, then those, ex those independent directors can game plan from, for what's about to happen at the board meeting. Plus, doing it before enables you to ensure that you have enough time as you want during the executive session and people aren't rushing out for a flight, if, which could happen if you're holding the executive session after the board meeting. Three, coach those taking minutes. So your regular board minutes might be short form, but the executive session to minutes typically are even more bare bones. Minute taking can be different for these sessions, particularly if you're asked to leave and a different person is the one taking the minutes. That person will need to be coached on what to do. So you're gonna work with whoever is leading the meeting in advance to know whether you're expected to be in the room to take the minutes. And if not, then you need to find out who is arranged it. Maybe it's a junior staffer, on your staff, or maybe it's an outside lawyer, not likely, or maybe it's one of the directors, maybe the whoever is re leading the executive session themselves. If it's going to be a director, you, you need a few minutes with them to train them if this is the first time doing how to do that. You do not want them to take down detailed minutes and then have you pare it down later. That would look like management, you editing the board. So you want to have clear rules of the road here. The bare bones minutes might just document that an executive session was held on a certain date and a certain time at a certain location to note who the participants were and that it lasted 12 minutes, whatever the session duration was. Or there might be a general description of the topics that were discussed for purposes of illustrating that the board fulfilled their fiduciary duties or to help refresh recollections later. And if it's a compensation committee who's meeting in executive sessions and they make some specific pay decisions, it's imperative that you impress upon whoever takes the minutes that they fill in the blanks the dollar amounts, the number of shares, the number of RSUs options that were granted in the minutes and have them sign it. You want them to be on the hook that it's absolutely 100% correct. Four, get the debrief. One common problem is that the results of the executive sessions are not discussed with management. What I mean is that constructive criticism that is discussed at the executive session doesn't get reported out. Only action items are relayed. That sort of defeats the purpose of the executive session. If nothing of value comes from holding the executive session, why have one other than the fact that it's required by the NYC and NASDAQ? So if there's indeed an issue to be dealt with, deal with it. Let the CEO know, let the managers know. Otherwise, it's just the director's meeting alone 
in, in a group sitting around gossiping. It's not providing any real value. So you always need to get some sort of de debrief out of, an, out of an executive session so you can figure out what the next steps are. Ideally, it's the chair or the lead director who briefs the CEO within a day or two about the outcome of the executive session. You want it to be fairly soon after the executive session was held so that memories are still good. And that so the CEO is not stressing about something being discussed at the executive session that they don't need to really be worried about. And so that the directives, the recommendations coming out of the executive session are still fresh in the mind of the chair or whomever is delivering the message and can be communicated clearly. Mm -hmm.